Hello my friends, welcome to Nightmare Edition. We are going to be heading to Char. And before we do that, I want to get a couple upgrades. I think that I want Ghost Range, and I want to try the Cirrus Suit. Ghost Leech is 15% of all damage dealt as energy. Uh, actually, that's really interesting. I'm not sure if that applies... It should just be auto attack energy. I'm pretty sure that's the way that it's supposed to function. Because if it's not, then Snipe is going to be really overpowered. We'll see. But I'm a little bit concerned about getting all the drop pods on Char, which is why I'm going to go Ghosts. I think they're going to be able to move about more easily. So obviously Ghosts do not have permanent cloaking anymore. That is a huge thing. We talked about that a little bit earlier in a previous episode. It means that you can't just wander around with them. However, I think that as part of a, like as a support spellcaster for an infantry army, they're going to be a little bit more viable because when you have a bunch of infantry chilling about, uh, Cloak doesn't actually give you much at all. So we're going to grab over here. We're going to take these out and be prepared. Oh, do I? Yeah, I'll get one of those upgrades, attack upgrade. And I'm a little bit concerned about the placement of these bunkers. I might just salvage and pull them back pretty early. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. It just seems safer. I want to be able to cover these tanks as best as I can. Sir, I'm tracking an incoming drop pod. It should be landing close they want to your position Mr. Spooks. And we're going to try to grab this drop pod real fast. All right. Let's get out there and find him before the Zerg do. I have the ceiling upgrade, so it's going to be useful. We've got to get the Marines in the back and then take all these down. Ooh, careful. Nice. All right, that attack wave has been dealt with, and the medic survived. Very nice. Don't really have the money to replace medics right now, so I'm pretty happy about that. We can go up here. And then we're going to be a little bit bold, and we're going to push up, because that is where some more money is. But if enemies get on top of these siege tanks, it's going to suck. Yeah, we got to get a couple of guys just to chill out and strike turrets. Thank you. Did I not sell the bunker over there? Oops. That's not good. I really should have. Ah! Big Bane energy. Okay. And then we can grab... Oh no, another bunker over here. And start getting some ghosts out. Now, I don't really have much value from Orbital Command here. That's going to be a little sad. Sir, I've detected a drop pod in your vicinity. Can I go with what I have? I think I have to. I don't think I can lose any of these drop pods. It'll be real bad if I do. So I'm just going to try to be super, super aggressive in the enemy's face and grab all of the friends. Oh, that Marauder barely lost. Let's take this down, because there's going to be a drop pod over here eventually. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, I was trying to get that guy in the bunker. Oh, no. Oh. Let's see what we can do. Hold. Oh, both of the tanks died. We can get Siege Breakers eventually, but... Oh, no, no, no. This is just a bad position. I have so much gas, but I don't have minerals to spend. That is the curse of this mission. So yeah, what I'm going to try to do is... I'm not sure if I should have kept a couple guys at home, but I think that I would have lost the drop pot if I did. So really, I just traded units, but that wasn't in a favorable way. to a nearby drop pod. Oh gosh. I don't have a whole lot of snipes available yet. So, we can get to those guys somehow. Can't really deal with the troops yet. Uh, Devil Dogs might be good. 
I think I want like one barracks ghost plus devil dog. Is that a composition? Not plus devil dog, but plus mercenaries. They're going to be very powerful here because I'm so low on money. We got to try to fight these one at a time. To limit damage taken. Actually, we want the marine taking the hit, I think. Okay. Well, theoretically, he took less damage, but in reality, I'm bad at micro. Get this factory back to the landing zone and get it building. Oh, this is chaotic. Uh, cloak this guy to save him. Get on over here. The empty bunker is taking hits. Take this area down. Evac, evac. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Drop a couple landmines to help out. Pull the forces back. Enemies run into the... Whoa! Oh, might be safe. Very close, at least. Uh, Decloak this guy. Siege break. In the bunker. In the bunker. Siege up. Siege up. And then one more bunker. We can get some hammer securities for the bunker. As long as we don't lose our medics. Oh, what? What just killed that? Huh, that died really fast, like way faster than it normally does. Oh gosh. Oh, this broodlord. Huh. So I lost like half the troops there to something and I have no idea what it was. Hmm. I'm not sure if that was a bug or there was just like an enemy that was over here. The infested marine, I guess. He like wandered into the area. That's really unfortunate. Let's get hammer securities and then we can pop these guys out. Pop this guy out and we want war pigs in the bunkers. Lost a factor right there. That's fine. It's at the top. Or rather, it was at the left. Don't really mind. And we just want to put as much damage as possible on the flyers. They're the scary part. Yeah, plus three attack. And some medics. This one's generally not that hard. There's an ultra couple ultra accessories but we have snipe uh, I'm really lacking on healing right here oh no we're out of snipes oh well, we got it take these down grab our friend oh what's this Oh no, this is right in the way to prevent the repair. That barely survived. We need to rearrange these, get them real close, but over here. Yeah, something like that, and then move this guy a little bit closer. I think that's enough room to repair. We're at 77 supply. 75 supply of army. So we're getting there, but we're still not where I'd like to be. We're going to patrol the Vikings right here to take down the air forces and then be prepared for the next drop. I think that it's up here. I'm going to give this a quick save because I'm feeling all right. This is one of those times that I wish I had cellular reactor instead of biosteel. Biosteel has obviously helped me a ton, but not with this composition that I'm going currently. Oh, I forgot to bring the guys that I rescued over. You sure about that? You've got another drop pod landing nearby. Oh, what? Okay. Um. Okay. I found the enemies. Don't attack that, please. I do need it. 
You get more war pigs and then try to pull the regular marines out of the bunkers to help. Is there a way to... Okay, that works. So if you double click, it counts as marines, but you can unqueue them and it works properly. We're getting close to that 100 mark. How are we doing in terms of money? Pretty all right. I also don't need to snipe the mutas anymore, which is great, because I have so many ghosts, they do so much damage. They do extra versus light. And the mutas pretty squishy, plus we have the area damage from the vikings, even if they're unupgraded. It adds up. Save it for stuff like ultras, for like broodlords, all the scary stuff in life. I will say I'm feeling the energy crunch on these ghosts. They do not have the infinite energy that they feel like they have normally. And I'm not even using Cloak. Can he attack? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. I can attack my own stuff to regenerate some energy. That's uh, probably not intended, but it is cool. No! Oh! Oh gosh. No, 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 no. Oh, those bigger armies. No, there goes everything. Hmm. I think my lack of investment into biotech on the laboratory means that it's a little tough on this mission to go for it. Perhaps I should have gone for something, but I'm going to lose both of those. I'm a little bit stuck with the way that I am right now. So how do I want to rearrange? Am I just going to die? Defensive Matrix. So the defense is working out really nicely. I feel like a bunch of Goliaths would be good on this mission. Because there's so much, like, groups of air and ground at the same time. I'm running out of money. All right, ghosts are not supply heavy. We're gonna have to start getting pure medic and then just everything we can get. Uh, that was a little too desperate right there. I should have gone for something else. Let's get the Spartan companies. I would like to be able to kill this hatch that I found. Be more active on the map, just clearing enemies out. Oh gosh. So I think that my big problem is that I was not paying attention to the enemy growth on the map. I have a lot of scans, and I should just be tossing them down to figure out what's going on where. Like, that's a lot. If we could have dealt with it, we'd be okay. I don't see a way to get over there, or over here. I think I've lost too much. Oh, yep, there's ultras everywhere. So if I had to make an adjustment, I really do feel like the Goliath would be good here. Or Viking Banshee. Hmm. So I could either tech up to a starport. I'd be able to get both of these. We did Viking Banshee on Media Blitz, though. Is it what we want to do again? Let's check out the path to the enemy strong. I can't. I'm out of scans. Hmm. Okay. I've made my decision. And I have so much gas available. This even going ghost and medic, which are both pretty gas heavy, I wasn't able to deal with all the gas. I had no way to spend it. Sell, sell. So first of all, let's not lose those tanks this time. That'll be a huge help. And all the money over here. Is there a... The spines are not here to begin with, right? No. But what I could do is run over here and grab the money. Because it's a lot of money that I could be using early on. And then we can get a factory. And, of course, two armories. Well, I don't have a factory yet, so I can't get that. 
landing close to your position any second. I think what I want to do here is I want to put one Marine in each of these to help defend. And then we'll send the remainder out. It'll be a little bit more stable than before. But we'll still have all the firepower over here. Uh, take a heavy fire here. I think we only lost one guy. So that's not building yet. Last time I was greedy, I went north, and I think that that part worked out really well. So we're going to do it once again. And then we're going to sweep down to the right-hand side and collect some more money. It's all about these early game pickups, maximizing your build order, being in the right place at the right time. Oh, no, 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 no! He's fine. <laughs> now, the next drop is going to be over to the side. Okay, I do need to be in position to deal with that. Uh, Goliath is G, but I cannot afford it. You gonna give me orders? Here we go. Predator is way too expensive. I wish, because the Predator is actually very fast, and having the ability to quickly move... Sir, I've detected a drop what if I... Then we can use those guys. Yeah, there we go. Once again, utilizing map knowledge in order to improve things. I want that money over there. Look at it. It's so much. We got the armories. We can get the vehicle weapons and vehicle plating. Oh, gosh, no. I don't have a whole lot of anti-air right here. Just keep repairing stuff. Oh, no. Oh, siege tanks! Well, one of them survived, and I can rebuild it because I have the factories. Once again, the money problem. So that is a full bunker now. Head up. Clear it down. I wonder if we can take down these creeps. Is there uh, creep tumors over here? Or is it just artificially placed creep? There's a hatchery over here. Base is under attack. Try to take that out. One thing that's really nice is that the bio launchers that are just for an achievement normally, uh, they do always, including in Nightmare, but also just in Brutal and stuff, drop groups of gas pickups, which is pretty cool to have. Yeah, you can see that these are producing, so taking that out means that there's going to be less pressure. Monitor this area pretty harshly so that we don't have to deal with them. I can pull a couple guys from over here. I would like to put the Marines in, but I'm not sure if it's safe. Oh, that is a bad spawn. No, no, no. Well, I got the money over there, actually, so I don't really care about them as much. Sometimes you have to understand what it's okay to lose. So one thing I'm thinking about using my gas on is ravens. Once I head down to the starport area... Do the enemies just chill here? Okay, those guys burrow, but the spore, spine crawlers remain. So we can take them down. I think that the next one was at the south, right? So we can be in position to deal with that. The Ultra is still going to cause us a bit of problems if I'm not careful. Oh gosh, that's going to cause me a bit of... Don't ask me what that micro was. I... <laughs> I am well aware that the correct thing to do right there <laughs> was absolutely to grab the Marauders and send them in to save the medics. And then my brain just did the opposite. It was like, alright. It would have it would have worked so well if I did the right thing. Wow, that was horrible. We're gonna unsiege this. Try to make a nicer thoroughfare for units and for Goliaths. And then this guy is gonna get. Uh oh, I may have made things worse. I absolutely have made things worse by 
So that needs to be changed. There should not just be infested Terran up there that murder the guys the second that you... Ooh, I don't like that one bit. That's pretty silly design. Because even if you don't kill the stuff up there, or rather if you don't spot the stuff up there, they still get killed. That's definitely wrong. Oh well, easy fixes. Get some more Siege Breakers. Oh yeah, I could have lifted this to get the Goliath out the entire time. I'm not sure how this big Goliath energy is working, but it feels kind of alright. I'm not sure if this is actually a safe setup right here. Or if Goliath movement is actually the composition that I'm looking for. I think I want some diamond back soon, like a good number of them. They're pretty mineral heavy though. I mean, that's pretty good. They deal with the mutas quite well. And then they're gonna slowly regenerate. But there's gonna be the ultras this time. Okay. I'm gonna try pulling these guys to my base because I have siege tanks over there. <laughs> run! I know you're a siege walker, but run! I guess you're not a siege, but you're just a walker. And then we're gonna check this area. And the hatch is in construction. So what I wanna do is I wanna move out right now. Grab these guys and then head back. And that should work out. These head over. These head over. And then... Actually, I want to cancel these. I want to get 3-3 three, three as fast as possible. Check this again. It's just Banelings. One of the things I really like about the Goliath is it's actually really decent against Banes. I say as I save before I engage the Banes. <laughs> I'm... It's usually pretty good because they're hit scan, but they also hit real hard. So they only kill... It's only a couple hits to kill a Bane. Great. So this is down. Area is secure. These guys are just getting owned before they do anything. I'm going to prematurely drop a point defense drone over here. Simply because it lasts a long time and then I don't have to pay attention to what's going on. And then Diamondbacks. So we have 20 seconds until we have Spartan companies. We're about to rescue Warfield. I'm pretty happy with everything right here. Hmm. Yeah, they don't really target down the Siege Breaker. Oh, they can actually slip on over to heal him. So this one. So don't get caught off guard this time. We're going to once again pull these guys into the base so that the Siege Breakers do the heavy lifting. I really need their support. And that makes this go much, much easier. Great, we hit the supply threshold way before last time. Oh, that's cool. Get him, Warfield. <laughs> Watch as he just killed the Nidus Worm. He like fires Alfie Omaru. He's like, I got one for you, Jim. Now you only have to get the other two. Thank you, Warfield. Right. The Diamondback said my pleasure, but I didn't thank him. Careful. Warfield won't be alive for very much longer. My pets will be drawn to his fear. I think I need a depot right here so these guys don't slip out the side. Uh, it's weird hitbox issues with the command center. Look at how good these Goliaths are doing. Because they can hit ground and air at the same time, they really are built for this sort of thing. Do we have 3-3 three, three yet? We do not. So, I'm thinking that I actually want to try clearing these bases. I'm going to try to get all the stuff, but I don't want to get hit from behind. Because I do know that if you lose all your buildings on this mission, you normally do not get eliminated, but Rhyme is a firm believer that you should. And every time that he does anything on this map, he changes it, so that's the case. Sir, I read multiple drop pods entering the atmosphere. I don't think you'll have enough time to rescue them all. Not with this much Zerg in the area. Damn it. I guess we're going to head south, the and then we're going to clear it out. Then we're going to head north and try to clear it out. 
Critical Goliath mass once again. Great. And we're going to keep one guy to grab. Oh, yeah, that hatch. So we should take out this hatch afterwards. Because it's still being a bit of a problem. Soaking the Banley hits there is pretty good. And then we can simultaneously grab both of our friendships. We can't turn into Hellbats, right? No. So those are pretty useless. Ooh. Wish I had the Vikings here. We can still put on a lot of pressure. Siege Breakers are alive. We're going to drop another one of these. Get him, Banshees. It's funny, I just, I keep getting gravitated back towards more and more Goliaths. Whenever I'm thinking about what to build, I'm really happy with the unit right here. And I think normally in Wings, the Goliath is one of the worst units. It's not even buffed in this, but the random buffs to other mech abilities are making them pretty good in this specific circumstance. In this specific matchup. Which, I think it's okay to have units that are niche like that. So the next set is going to be defenders here and over here. There's another wave of drop pods coming in, sir. It would be too dangerous to try and rescue them all. So we're going to do this again. Now, I believe what happens is the mutas then flock over here. There's a bunch of them, yeah. So we're going to take all these down. The last of the Dominion drop pods have reached the surface of Char. Uh, let's land these to not get killed by corruptors. And then we're going to leave one Goliath to rescue, but we don't want to rescue yet because of the way that it works. I don't have much money, actually. Maybe I do need to go on the adventure. We'll see. My supply is actually decreasing. Though part of that is because I just invested to capture a drop pod, but I haven't actually captured it yet. I should keep that in mind. Oh no! I took too long to get over here. That is the mech curse. It is a slow army. Yes, so do I want to grab that base in the bottom right? This one. Part of me says, yeah, that'd be pretty good. All right. Yeah, let's do it. We're going to keep macroing. We can get a new mercenary compound down there. It's going to be a bit of an involved process to transfer everything. My goodness, that's a big attack. Try to take all this down. Ooh, those are lurkers. Yep, be careful. Lurkers can definitely kill my Goliath army in seconds. All that's dealt with. These guys are still alive. We can lift and land. And we just held, so it might be time to retreat. I mean, this is what Terran's supposed to do, right? Unsiege all this, bring them all over here. Be ready to go. Oh no! This is poor timing. But the Ultras are stuck in the back. Hey, the Ultras got stuck in the back. Thank you, Ultralisks. And then we're going to lose everything over there. No! Why are there... Those darn infested Terrans with that darn overpowered ability. I dislike them greatly. <laughs> so we got some Yamatos available. Where's the SCVs? SCVs start mining. Lurkers are dealt with. Oh, I think I actually lost a bunch of SCVs during the transfer. Like a good 10 or so. Oh no, what are these guys doing? Oh, run! <laughs> he survived. I need these factories on the ground now. This is such a stressful mission. So I guess I'm not killing those bases over there. I have pulled away from them instead of moving towards them. 
They're sending a lot of stuff over, so I think that I made a mistake. Let's get a Merc Compound. And one of those. How do you build a Merc Compound? Right here. Power it out so I can start getting friends. And then I'm not going to build anything with my other buildings, I think. And we're going to start trying to progress this direction. More lurkers. Oh, man. So we can send the battle cruisers to clear them out. I hate that infested Terran rocket, man. It just it cleaves through the battle cruisers so quick. Oh, are they stuck? Oh, no. Two of them. I think I'm getting a little bit stuck right now. I'm so close to being able to clear through, but I don't know how to deal with all the enemies that are chilling out over here. Actually, I know how to deal with most of the enemies, but not the lurkers. If I could siege them, that would be good. I don't have scan energy right now. Do I have a medevac? I do have a medevac, so I can grab these two guys and put them over here. That's a good little save. All the money counts right now. We do have a good number of minerals here to work with. Got some more siege breakers. And just siege them up for now. And what we have to do is hope that my supply is going to continue to increase instead of decrease. <laughs> as we deal with the attack waves from the north. As long as that happens, we're probably going to be okay. We can always just bring the Orbital Command with us at the end. These aren't getting to do anything. And it does look like they don't resend the Lurkers. So I might be able to slowly Yamato them out and then pull back. Ooh, it's small stuff. I don't have another scan, unfortunately. I can try using the Banshees to clear stuff. We lost a lot of supply right there, almost 10. Ooh. Get a Jackson. Unfortunately, I don't have these Starport Armory upgrades, which means these guys are not as good as you might think. Target these down. Yeah, look at how little our damage is. Oh no. The scan wore out before they could kill the lurker. That's not good. Hell's Angels will do better. The mercenaries always do better without upgrades because they have higher base damage. We're going to uncloak and wait once again. And you get a tech lab on the factory. And I guess we'll get war pigs because we're floating minerals. They don't really have a good way to get vultures right now. Oh man. 46. So before I push out, I'm going to need to make sure that I have a bunch of energy. Well, that overseer hurt. So is this area clear now? Nope. Yeah, okay. I thought I could be cute and start clearing, but the Overseer snapped my guys in half. Uh, what do I want? Probably a couple Diamondbacks. I will get another... I can't get another factory. I don't have the barracks. 144 supply before the big bust happens. Let's see what we're at after. 141. Oh my gosh, it's so much. That's why I wanted to kill those bases on the side. I think I have to go. I've dealt with that big attack wave, and that means it is time to try to make something happen here. What needs killing? I don't think I have time to siege up unless something really scary comes. Base is under More? Seriously? I just dealt with an attack from that side. This is a smaller one, at least. 
Down to 130. Okay, I do got a siege up. Oh, what do we get? Whatever we can afford. If we could stop the infested from spawning on this side, that would be huge. There's no more lurkers over here. That is awesome. Oh, no. Well. Yeah, I cannot defend both these areas at the same time, can I? Orbital Command, you're coming on a journey. But I do need you to be able to land... So I can scan if need be. There's so many sunks. Base is under attack. I'm trying to be really cognizant of the enemies that could hit from behind. Whoa, Brutalisk! Base is under attack. It seems to be just Zerglings right now. Pull these guys. I think I might need to land these Vikings because things are taking a big hit. Okay, here comes an enemy attack wave from behind. Let's land the command center defensively but not lose it. That's going to be an important part. Just let it soak some hits. Another lurker is down. There are more and more Banes. We're down to 100 supply, but it is pure army at this point. And one SCV. Land for potential lurkers. 80 supply. <laughs> There's the potential lurkers. Two of them. Got them. We got to lift off again because of the Zergling rally. So we have to win this before the next big attack hits from behind. Otherwise, uh oh. I don't think we're going to win this before the next big attack from behind. Oh, no. We got to go, and we got to hope there's no lurks. I'm going to hide you. No, you got to keep coming. Big Broodlord energy. 42 supply. <sighs> Come on. Another lurker. No. Oh, these lurkers are the death of me. They really make it so you can't do anything. And they have so much range. Land. Scan. What is their range? Nine. Nope. I'm dead. Oh, no. So our last save is at 24 minutes. I think that I made that save under the, like... I'm not sure if I have to go now or if I can save up, and I'm pretty sure that I just have to go right then. We'll see if there's, like, an attack wave or something. Yeah, we have one scan available. We can just start grabbing some guys. So, yeah, this is... I'm going to deal with one attack wave, and then I'm going to go. Hmm. Here's the attack wave. I still don't have the scans. That's it, isn't it? Let's get a starport. Do I have a starport? I have a starport. I don't need to get a starport. I can't get a tech lab on it right now, though. I just need some sort of detection. I would kill for it. Land right here. Please stop. I have another scan available. So I'm going to grab these guys. Nope. Got to deal with the Overseer first. Here comes another big attack wave from the back. Ooh. 
Hey, that guy's a long ways away. Saved him though. I can't check to see if the Overseer is still there. Because if I use my scan, then I'll die. This is a really tricky scenario. I'm not sure how I want to move my troops about. Let's just target down what we can. Dude, we do new damage. Why do they have three armor? <laughs> they just don't die. Oh, there goes all the Banshees. If I could afford, like, a nuke or something, it'd be really okay, but I can't exactly build a tech lab, a ghost academy, a ghost, and a nuke off of this economy. And I have a feeling that this raven is going to get absolutely curb stomped. Yeah, those infested rockets that deal so much... No, the raven's not correct. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm. I wonder. You could siege this one up with a siege tank. These aren't really accessible. I need to figure something out because this is insane. The just damage that comes out, the sheer damage from those attack waves are so high. And the lack of detection is killer. Even though I have scans up because mules and depot drops don't exist and have no value respectively, it's still crazy. I may just be in a bad save. I loaded at 150 supply and I might be dead. Which is a bit crazy to think about. Let's... Uh, I wish I could build another orbital, but there's like no room. Move this up here. Build an orbital command. Save up scans. Dusk wings, who are kind of useless. Yeah, I keep getting them under the thought that they'll be good, but they just aren't. And we're just going to try to do the good old-fashioned, really, really aggressive bust. The Banshee's attacking over here. back. Oh gosh. <sighs> Come on. Just die. Seriously. Oh, it's just like ladder. We're being busted at home. 117 supply. That's like less than I had before, right? If I could kill this infested spawner though, maybe I could hold for a little bit. Are they going to hit us big from the side again? I'm going to chill out here. We're going to move around. I still can't build that factory. The extra command center here really did help. Jackson's okay. Get Jackson in the front to try to tank. I send more stuff. Take all these out. I'm not seeing any more attackers from that angle. Okay. I think that means it's time to head out with everything except for one of the siege tanks, which is going to be the anti-ling tank. Cleave through all this. Start taking the buildings out. Siege it up. You were fools to come here. Oh, come on. Mm. All these are going to die. And that's my detection. Ugh. 
I do not like these lurkers. I find them so unfun to play against. It's literally why I quit ladder. <laughs> oh. Big attack from this side. Pull back to the tank range. Do we have to restart from scratch once again? Maybe I just have to go air. Maybe this is the big battle cruiser mission, or the Viking one, like I was talking about. Oh no! Yeah, screw! It. I hate lurkers. I hate them so much. I'm not fighting against them. I'm making air units. <laughs> Banshee Viking, go. Sorry about this, but I didn't make the mission. I didn't put lurkers here. I think the early game was pretty smooth last time. All things considered. I mean, it never is on Gates of Hell, and this version has so many more enemies that are hitting always. That's, uh... Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, I was supposed to go over here with a guy, wasn't I? So we want a factory, and then we want a starport. I guess I'm trying every style here, aren't I? We went bio first, and I failed at that. Factory second, and I failed at that. And now we're going starport, and I'm going to successfully it. Like, super successful. I don't remember exactly when I... I, I cognitively tried to pay attention to when I was supposed to kill the hatchery over here, and I don't remember when that was. Pull the medics back as they lose their shield. Very nice. And then head up here. That area is so lightly defended that it's absolutely worth it at this point. And then we want to swing down the right-hand side. That is the big change that I need to make this time. Oh gosh, that's a lot of guys here. Block! Alright. Decent enough. I'm not sure how to defend right there. Oh, no! Medics. Heal the medics. Oh, gosh, there's a marauder in the back. I couldn't see him through the steam vent. Oh, brutal. I got environmentally destroyed. Hmm. Why aren't you building a starport? Oh, no. Police back. Marauders do the tanking. No. Oh, I'm dead again. <laughs> so, the steam vent right here, masking the marauder that I couldn't see, I think just killed me. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. get these we're gonna get these sell sell everybody here siege siege swing on over no 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 don't kill my tank please uh, okay i'm getting really fatigued i'll be completely honest and i'm playing super badly as a result i oh no Nightmare is very mentally exhausting to play at times, and this mission is about as hard as Char Nightmare should be, and it's causing me issues. Why do you only start with a barracks? Oh, that part's so annoying. I hate it when they steal my screen. I'm gonna make... Uh, I can't make an extra medic. I just want to grab one of these right now. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going to place my starports, but they'll be somewhere. Be 
So Marauders are in the front. What? They're dead already. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so bad. Oh. Oh. Okay, last one, last two were me losing my focus. I'm going to try to re-get it back. Go ahead. Get this. Get this. Put these here. Now we can start moving. We head up, we head over. Grab all the money. Grab a factory. Grab a gas geyser. Grab the cash. Swing over to the right. Be prepared for that drop pod. Man, that drop pod died so fast. You're going to be here. You're going to be here. Green. I don't take my screen. These are the things that really tilt me and get me. Whenever I'm like having a hard time and then the game just keeps taking my screen when I'm trying to do stuff, that gets me very, very frustrated. I really don't like it. I don't mind that it exists, but it should absolutely be optional. Here we can go armory. Head up. Armory. Hopefully that'll finish. Yes, sir. We got all this cash, and we're not going to go over there. The I've learned that, that is a bad idea. By all means, bring them all to my doorstep. We're going to leave a little yeah. slot for the SCVs to move around. Did they seriously? Uh, okay, siege tanks. <laughs> they killed my tech lab. Swing down. Swing down. I've detected a drop pod in your vicinity. Let's move! Much cleaner. Now we can head up. And we're going to have to camp that next drop pod as well, because you can't save it in any other way. Or rather, we're going to lose the drop pod on the side. Wait, where's all the enemies that were over here? What? Weren't there... Okay, sure. I thought there were enemies over here. <laughs> I'm very confused. When did when did that happen last time? I thought it was about this time. I know the attack orders are a little bit randomized, but... Alright. Maybe I'm just getting good RNG this time. So we're going to completely ignore the people on the left-hand side, because we already have their money. We're going to die to these annoying infested Terrans. And just grab all the money, take down all the spines, all that kind of stuff. Just do random upkeep stuff for now. And I'm hoping that big Banshee Viking energy is going to be a mobile enough composition that I can take down the bases on the sides. I don't know how much I'll need for that. Oh no, I forgot to put guys in... I'm gonna die again, maybe. No! Okay. One. One. You guys, you guys. Done. And now the Banshees are gonna help clear. Oh, I can't believe that that survived. Keep building SCVs. Make sure we have a real good repair crew. Our allies are being attacked. These guys are doomed. Does not matter to me. I do not need the factory. And then I believe the next one is over to the side, right? So we're going to get Hell's Angels. And we're going to move that direction. And be ready for it. Then we can just pull them out of that position as soon as they spawn. And put them somewhere a little bit more reasonable. Upgrade complete. 
This might be part of that wave. I think it is. So then a bunch of mutas come. We're just going to kind of chill out over here and see. Taking some damage over there. We can grab Duskwings. We're going to grab Jackson's Revenge. Then we got to get 2-2. Two, two. And I am having money problems pretty severely. 2-2 two, two is super important because I need to get this 3-3 three, three going as fast as possible. Here we go. So we drop pot them. And that time they weren't even like in range to be attacked by the Infested Terran, which is a bit odd. Or maybe the Infested Terran kind of waddle their way over there. I'm not entirely sure. Cool. I'm gonna bring the tanks over. We're gonna be very, very happy about this bunker. And we'll go for Jack next. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna lift that up and get you in a nice nestled in position, but not blocking the SCV movement. That is important. Wow, I hit that really fast. That was the even easier than before, wasn't it? Or at least earlier. I guess it's because I managed to capture these guys. So the next one is this, right? I think I just need to have it all memorized. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's necessary, but maybe because I'm bad. Oh, it might be the one in the south. I'm going to clean out both of those areas. And then we'll figure it out from there. I actually don't think I need a whole lot of Vikings. The air force that they have is not the largest in the world. It's pretty decent, so I want to have enough to like one volley stuff. Oh gosh. That was alright. Let me grab him and head back home. Where do I put this one? I don't know. Just put it right there. Oh no, my mercenary house! I'm gonna try moving things about again. This tank is blocking repair access, so if I do it like this, maybe they can move around. And then I guess I want this right here so they can't get in, and we need to get a new mercenary compound, but they are so large. Oh no, right here. Oh, I cannot afford to build stuff. Ship weapons, ship plating. Oh, those SCVs had a bad time. I still have really nice saturation, though. I have a bunch of minerals I'm not sure what to use them for. Vultures? No. Hmm. I think at this point I need to leave all of my ground forces and just move around with an air force to rescue things. This seems fair. This is going to be the next one. The autogas is mining. Ooh, we can grab this money. That's nice. Though part of the reason I'm low on gas is because I just had to get 3-3. Three, three. So I should be able to climb back, right? And these are going to be pretty helpful in the defense. Let's check out this base. You know what? Let's start clearing. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to toss a quick save down. I don't care about the lurkers. I just care about killing the hatches, I guess. So Jackson is in the front. Vikings are behind. Let's see how it goes. I'm not sure how much I'm losing. That is a lot of mutas that they had in here. 
I wonder if that was part of an attack wave. We dealt with most of it. Bust through that. Keep the pressure going. And hopefully we just don't take any more damage. We've cleared up most of the stuff. So that we don't lose our friends. I don't think we have enough. Nope. Alright. I'm going to have to get a couple more drop pods worth of guys. I'm really trying to do something that is useful to help out the war effort, but I'm not entirely sure what that is at this point. It's definitely not this, though. Uh, is the double drop the one that comes next? Maybe clearing out the double drop is important. Because the double drop, I believe, comes with both Banshees and Vikings, which is kind of my composition. So that's going to be a big boost of power. And I should bring the Raven along as well. Maybe when there's that many Mutas, a good Hunter Seeker missile is what's going to save the day. And 3-3. 3-3 will be super helpful. Seeker is pretty cheap. I like that they waste my energy. They mind control the Duskwing and then they <laughs> activate Cloak. Make sure that I don't kill my own guy, but definitely waste my energy. The Vikings are great against these Muta numbers. If I can get them up a little bit more, that'll be good. Sir, I read mm. multiple drop pods entering the atmosphere. I don't think you'll have enough time to rescue them all. Come get me. There's much Zerg in the area. Damn it. We'll rescue as many as we can. I don't think everyone's gonna live through this. So that's the first drop pod group, and now we're gonna head up north. We'll keep one Viking who is a little bit low over here, so we can grab those friends, and he will biosteal his way up as we wait. We need a point defense drone here to help defend. We're very slow. Oh gosh, they just keep sending forces in. I want to defend those guys, but I can't get over to them. Because there's just lots of stuff. No! Oh, that sucks so bad. Oh, this mission is hard. This is the hardest mission by far that I've had to do. Oh, big fungal. Oh, no. So we got the command or the Nexus sniped. Maybe we just try to go over to Warfield from here. Is that the answer? Just like check out that's a lot of defenders. Maybe we go a bit farther north than this. And we need more Vikings if we're gonna try. At least our second group of Hell's Angels. Those are pretty important. Is this the final one? Yeah, we're gonna let the Thors die. And we're gonna try to grab the not Thors. So. Ouch. Dude, it hurts so badly. Jackson's gonna die. Oh my goodness, this is just pain. Every composition I go for feels like I'm lacking something terribly. Most of it being gas. Well, not the first time. Base is under attack. Yes, so once again, I am in a position where I just have to figure it out with what I have. This time, though, the ground forces are not going to be viable at all. However, I do have the benefit that I'm flying. So, does that make up for it? Merc Compound, Duskwings or Hell's Angels? Hell's Angels. So we have two battle cruisers, a flight of Banshees, a bunch of Vikings, and a Raven. And we have to make a miracle happen with them. We're going to cloak the Banshees just so that damage is a little bit more spread. 
Uh, cloak is actually a good damage dispersion metric, or not metric, but method, because what happens is they'll attack the guys cloaked in the front, and then the cloak detection will die, and then they'll have to go and attack the other stuff. Really distributes it, even if it's not actually reducing the total damage dealt to the party. I'm gonna move forward. I'm gonna drop a couple point defense drones, and this is where we make our big stand. Oh, point defense drone does not stop the rockets from the infested Terran. That's a fun fact. Hmm. We're making progress, though. I want to target down that Viper. And this guy as well. Losing all my anti-ground prowess. And I have no gas income. However, I may have dealt with a lot of the stuff over here. Land of Viking. To help out, that is one Nidus down. You can attack this, Nidus number two. And then let's head over to this high ground. Nidus number two is dead. Oh gosh, we're getting cleaved up here. And then Nidus number three. Ladies and gentlemen, I hate lurkers. I really do. Oh my gosh, they're so powerful. Especially when detection is just not a thing. Ah. If the if point defense drone worked on those infested rockets, I think it would be a different matter, but mobile detection doesn't work. So, I have to I have to use the scans and it's so hard to do that on this mission. Thank you for watching. This was a heck of a slog. I have a feeling this is going to be the hardest mission until All In because Shatter the Sky, LOL, and Belly of the Beast is no build mission. So we'll have a little bit of a reprieve, but the entry to Char is exactly as insane as the entry to Char should be. Thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time. I will talk to you soon. Peace.